Hey friends, so Linux is a really important tool if you're working in cloud or DevOps and I just wanted to share some commands that I think are important. So yeah, in this video I'll be talking about top 7 commands that I used as a DevOps engineer and a cloud ops engineer. So the first command is the ls command and it is used to view what is contained in a directory so it would list an output of all the files that are in a particular directory or any subdirectories in that directory. The flag that I used with this was dash L or dash AL. So what dash L does is it spits it out in a list instead of just a single line. So the second command that I used was the CD command. So CD stands for change directory. And after navigating through the system, with ls and when I found which directory I need to navigate to I would use the cd command to navigate to that particular directory. The next is a really important one this one is chmod or chmod so this is used to change permissions of the file it has a lot of options and the most that I used was chmod plus x which lets you add the executable flag to a file so that you, if it's a script, you can execute it. And some of the flags are read and write. So you could add read, write, and execute permissions to a file. So the fourth command is a variation of top. It's called htop and it might not be installed by default on some systems, but yeah. So htop basically colorizes a lot of stuff as compared to top. And it does pretty similar things as to list the processes that are using the resources and how does your resource monitor looks. So CPU utilization, memory utilization, and top processes that are utilizing it. And that's how I would navigate, okay, what's using the CPU on some of the virtual machines when I was navigating or investigating an issue. The fifth command, it's also an important one. It's the cat command. It stands for concatenate and I used it to look at config files, but you can also create files with cat, but I mostly used it to view the files without opening it in a text editor like nano or vim. And the sixth command is the tail command, which is pretty similar to cat. So you can view the file, but I used it to output like the last 10 lines of a log file or start a live tail of a log file so that I know what's going on. So let's say I'm troubleshooting something with HAProxy, I would tail its live log file and then see what's going on. And the seventh command is grep command. I think it's really powerful when working with text files. So it searches for lines that match a regular expression. So I basically used it to investigate through large log files if I'm looking for a specific error. So let's say I'm looking for 404s, 503s uh, in a log file. I would use grep to just look at those files that contain that specific error message. So yeah, these were my top seven commands that I used during my time as cloud ops and DevOps engineer. Hope you guys liked the video. I'll see you in the next one.